Hello. 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 Oh, my audio just messed up. Sting, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi. Hello. Hello? I don't know. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Nice. Okay. Um, so you're so we're gonna I just thought we'd start with some of a refresher, which are these two lines. So let's start with this guy. This is actually a little small. So hikometa. Hikometa. So mado kara kao hikometa. Kao o hikometa. Hello? Hi. Uh, what is the mado? The mado is the window. Yes. So what is a cow? Cow. Uh, to look, not to look. To see. So look would be me too. Cow, mm -hmm. though, is a noun. And it's a part of the body. What part do you think it is? Is it like the eyes, the nose, the head? What oh, could it be? Sounds very familiar. Cow is face. All oh, right, face, yeah. So earlier he had his face sticking out the window and he decides to um, instead to hikometa, which means to drag inward into something. So he pulls his head from the outside of the window back inward is what he's doing and then right as he does that he does the next action the next sentence so Mimawashita are related words, but Mimawashita has a little bit of an extra meaning added to it, which has to do with why he's using, why he's needing at this, the way in which he's doing it. Uh, so he's like scanning over. Yes, exactly. That's what that means. It means to survey or to scan over something. So what does koya mean? Koya. Koya, koya. Another word sounds very familiar. Oh, uh, it is a house. Yes. What kind of house? A very small house. Exactly. So altogether, what does sore kara mo ichido koya no naka o mimawashita mean? Sore kara so mo ichido. One more time, house no naka o. So he peeked inside of the house or scanned inside of the house. Yes, scans a little bit more accurate. Nice. So this is a refresher word. Um, no grammar point. Um, in the sentence, um, uh, sore kara ano jidai ni wa sore o tobu yoko ryu te iu no mo itanda. What? Is going on with this mo right no right here so is it referring to the uh yokoryu yes uh specifically it's referring to the kyoryu being what kind of yokoryu is it so this no is a pronoun in that it is acting as a filler for a something that's been referenced earlier in the story. So rather than saying sore kara ano jidai ni wa sore o tobu yokuryu te iu kyoryu mo itanda rather than saying that they just turn turn kyoryu into no. No. Hi. So 
no can be used as a filler word basically for something that you already know about. Uh, uh, now we have a different extra. So, any mo kairo shiburaku matte mo ani wa modotte konai. What is this temo doing? Even if so, even if ani mo kairo, even if ani returns, or no. That's a good uh, guess. So, um, for this sentence, we have two basically subjects. So, one doing shibaraku would be um, jaku. So, jaku, even if jaku wait, then ani wa, what does ani do, will or will not do? Mototte konai. So, she won't come back or exactly. won't go. So, no matter how long um, he waits, ani will not come back. Uh, it can also kind of have a like anyway kind of meaning in sore ni shitemo, which is basically even if you did that, well, who cares? Is kind of what it means. Sore ni shitemo. So anyway would be a great way to translate that phrase. Even if you did that. Okay. So um, I believe Jack is saying this out loud. Sore ni shitemo, konna ni, konna ni da, kuchin no? Is that no? Ah, takusan. She looks like that. Takusan no, uh, nihongo. Yep. Ah, hon, hai, nihon, no hon. Ah, uh, itai, or itai, dare no, Daro. Dare so no what does no doing right here? Dare no. So someone, and it's kind of just referring to that someone. Mm -hmm. This this no is actually referring to hon. So dare no hon daro is what this is saying. So what does takusan mean? Takusan. Konna ni takusan. So who's takusan no hon? That's a good guess because san can go on after names, but that has like probably no relation. Uh, takusan is one word that has a meaning of the same meaning as ipai basically. It means like so a lot. lot. Yep, a lot. Takusan and konani. What is konani doing here? What is it underlining? So, like, what is this? So, it's not like a what. It kind of just, like, makes taksan hon, like, bolded. So, it's not saying there's just a lot of books. There's a super duper lot of books is kind of what konna does. It's mm. like vocal bolding of words, how I would describe it. Writing everything in cap lock. So. Shaku-san. <laughs> um, and then we have itai. What is that? Itai. <clears throat> itai. To say. Well, that's, that's you. Really Never good. Yeah. So itai is a kind of like, is a word that kind of means like, heck. Itai, heck. So itai, dari no hon, would be, who, who the heck owns this book? It, it, it's kind of like a heck. It, it's not a bad <laughs> word at all, but it, it has that same kind of like use in the sentence. It's, 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 it's similar to konani in a... It's like bowl set up. Yep. So all together, what does dore ni shitemo konani takusan no hon ittai dare no daro? Hmm, so the niche demo. So even if, even if, so this, uh, there's a lot of books. So with this, even if, uh, I've, I've really mentioned before, it's the even if is connected to what's 
behind it. So even if that was done, is what I basically said. Sorry. Mm. So even if that was done, which doesn't really mean a lot in English, but the easiest way to translate it would be anyway. Oh. <laughs> even if that was done, um, that has no relation to what we're talking about now. Basically, just anyways. Yeah. So anyways, so even if there's a lot of books, mm -hmm. so let's ignore the even if. Sore ni stemo is even if that is done, and even if that is done, the even if is included in that phrase means anyway. Anyways, yeah. So the even if so like anyways. is part of anyway. Konnani taksan no ho. Uh, there's a lot of books, and who owns them? Yes. Do you know what that all is doing right here? That all. It's like, right? Close. It's kind of uh, like the like same, right? It can mean right in certain contexts. Uh, in this case, it means more like, I wonder. Mm. So it's more like, huh. Anyway, I wonder who the heck owns these this, this many books. Like, why, why the heck? Why would someone own this many? Who the heck? Who the heck owns all these books? Um, here's another little refresher, which is to between two sentences, such as so you to ani wa hitori de mori no hou e hashite itte shimatta. So so you to means um, so he said that. So what was said to? What do you think to means? Thought in this case would be like and for sentences. Mm -hmm. it, it's an and for sentences, and it kind of means that the first event happened, then the second event. Uh, they mm. don't have to really be super duper like related, but it's normally the first event happens, then the second, rather than both occurring at the same time or anything like that. So this happens. So so somebody said something, and right when that happened, right afterwards, Annie ran off toward um, the forest. Uh, here is a new grammar form, which is adding Thai to stem form. For example, what does Shizen o Kansatsu Shitai mean? Shizen o Kansatsu Shitai. So I want to Kansatsu, observe nature. Exactly. So how would you say I want to read a book? First off, what is the stem form of yomu? Uh, stem form of yomu. Yomi. Yes. Perfect. So now, how would you say, um, I want to read a book? You don't need to say I. That can be dropped in Japanese. So you could just say, mm. what? Hon o yomitai. Exactly. So a thing to keep in mind is that Thai can only be used when you're talking about things you want to do. So you cannot use this in the third person. It's an interesting like distinction in Japanese. If you wanted to describe what something else, someone else was doing, you'd have to use like tagaru, uh, which is not important for this lesson. But just so you know, Thai is for when you're talking about things you want to do, not what other people want to do. Um, so you have seen um, things with like uh, te iru or te kuru or te iku, with te kuru means coming toward you, te iku means going away from you, and te iru, te iru means just like doing. So te aru has a meaning of it was, basically. Uh, we're not specifically mentioning someone who did something. So if you said kaite iru, that would mean like I am writing, for example. But in some contexts, contexts, you're not actually talking about someone currently writing something, and you might not even know who wrote something. For example, can you read this sentence right over here? Ah, ano bon ni nani ga kaite aru. Ano kaban ni nani ga kaite aru. So kaban means sign. So what do you think this means? 
あのカバンに何が買っている So who? Who is Nanika? Who is Nanika? Nanika is a good one. Okay. Nanika is a good one. So that sign, Nanika is a good one. What does that mean? So, Kaku means to write. Kaku.、Mm. So, basically, who wrote in that sign? Or who wrote that sign?、Yeah. But as she says, something is written on that sign. <laughs> something、uh, is written on the sign. So, is being used to、um, have the meaning of the writing. It has been written on there. You can see there's writing on there. But we don't really care about who wrote it. Nobody knows. It, it doesn't matter, is what Adu is for. So, it's kind of like passive, I guess.、Uh, It's just an interesting. So if this said, Ano kaba ni nani ga kaite iru would not make any sense. You, you would want, like, like, watashi wa ano kaba ni nani ga kaite iru would be like, I am writing something on that sign. So with iru, someone has to be doing the action. And adu is just, this, at, this exists now, basically. So. So, something's written on it, you say, Kaite a r u Oh, now we have two vocab words. We have shiori and hasamu. Which one of these、mm. is a verb? Shiori or hasamu?、Um, mm, 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 mm. Shiori sounds like a verb. So, actually, verbs with a r e n in dictionary form always end with an u sound. That's one way you can tell the difference between a verb and anything else. So, hasamu ends with an u. And hasamu means to be in between two things. So, what do you think is in between the pages of this book? A card? Yes. Or a shiori? Specifically, it's called a bookmark. Right? You use a bookmark to go inside of books so you know where they are. Shiori. So, hasamu. What does hasamu mean?、Uh, oh, I forgot what. what. What's this bookmark doing right now? This bookmark is moving. <laughs> what do you, mark. So, when a bookmark is in use, how do you use a bookmark physically? So, you would kind of just drop it in the page and pick it up. Yep. So, bookmarks go in between two pages because you stick the paper in there and the book closes on it. So, hasamu means like there's two things and we're talking about something in between it. So, bookmarks, shiori, will be hasamu.、Uh, what?、Um, I don't know that for now.、Uh, so, hasamu means in between.、Mm. Um, what do you think the te form is of hasamu?、Uh, the te form. So, hasate, hasate, hasamu, hasumi? So, how about. It's not hasate. So, how about yomu? You know this one, yomu, which means to read. What's the te form of yomu? Yomi. What's the stem form? The stem form is yomi. Te form has、oh, to、yeah. end with a te or a de. That's, how, that's why it's called te form, because it ends with a te or a de. So,、hmm. it's the yo, there's something over here, and then there's a te or a de at the end. I'm going to let you know it's a de. Do you have any idea what it could be? Yo de. Uh, uh, uh. Yo de. Yo de. Yep, yo de. It's an end. And yomu and hasamu, both, hasamu, both end with mu. And this、mm. means they both go t e n form in the exact same way. So it becomes hasande. 
Sunday. Be in between. Oh, what's a shiori again? Shiori is a bookmark. Exactly. Okay. So now we are on this page. Here is oops, here's the end of the sentence. Let's read it. Futo miruto hoto hotondo hotondo no hon ni shiori ga hashinde aru. Hasande. Hasande aru. So, do you know what? Uh, we can ignore hotondo for now. Um, what does honni shiori ga hasande aru mean? Honni shiori ga. So, ga hasande aru. So, the bookmark is in between the book. Yes. Exactly. Um, in this context, you would know we're talking about the pages of the book. So it's inside of the mm. book. Uh, but that's like a context thing. But like just you know that book bookmarks go inside a book. So in, in this case, it's inside a book rather than between two physical books. Um, then we have hotondo. What does hotondo mean? Hotondo. Similar to dai tai, if you know that word. Tondo. Mm -mm. It sounds familiar, but I can't really remember. Mm -hmm. It basically means most. Tondo no hon. So within most books, there are bookmarks. Then we have futo miruto. What do you think that means? Futo miruto. Futo miruto. Most important part, I would say, miruto. Because miru right here is the end of a sentence, and then we have to. Miruto. So you saw something, mm -hmm. and then hotondo no hon. Yes. So by miru doesn't really mean like he saw something, it just means to see. So it's a little different than like how the word works in English. Uh, you would conjugate it different to be like you saw something. It's just the act of using your eyes gets miru. So futo means like basically right when he uses his eyes, then what he sees is the next part in this case. So he uses his eyes. His eyes are in use, and you can see that there are um, quite a few books with bookmarks in them. Um, and then right here is something Annie says. What does she say? Ah, uh, watashi kon no hon mirutai. Mitai. Mitai. Yep, no do written down there. So you saw Thai. What does Thai mean? Thai is I want to. So yes. I want to see. Yes, I want to see. What does she want to see? Hon, so a book. That book. Exactly. Ah, uh, watashi kon no hon mitai. Ooh, I want to look at this book. And this is a refresher. I'm not going to do it. I feel like you know it. Um, so now this is what's happening. Um,兄が取り上げたのは、あ、表紙、表紙にお城の絵がいている。ついてる。ついてる。古い本だった。Hi, you know what a oshiro is? Oshiro. Sounds familiar. Hmm, Oshiro. Nandaro. What is an oshiro? Oshiro. A castle? Yes, a shiro is a castle. You know what an e is? An e is a house or a way it's to a say house, I guess. But it's not house. That'd be e. -e. So e, -e means drawing. E -e. Yes. So we're talking about an oshiro no e, -e and it's something that is suiteru, which basically means to be like on or I guess depicted in this case. 
a hyoshi. What do you think hyoshi means? A hyoshi. It is a cover. Yep. Hyoshi is book cover. So hyoshi ni oshiro oshiro no ega tuiteru. Uh, so we're talking about a book cover, right? So we're still talking about the book, and it's furui. Furui. That does not mean long. That's a good guess. Uh, nagai means long. Nagai. What does furui mean, do you think? Uh, it's the opposite of atarashi. So it's old or ancient. Yeah. It's an old book. Furui also tells us it's in old condition. So if it said like mukashi no hon, it would mean an old book, but not necessarily an old condition. So we know that it's like, I don't know, maybe it's a little crinkled. It's maybe it has, it's, it's yellowing or something. Something about it, you look at it and you're like, oof, that is an old book. Uh, but like an old condition. It doesn't have to be in bad condition, but you look at it and visually you can tell it's old um, without knowing the culture. Uh, so maybe it could just have dust on it or something. Hi. Hey. Do you know what tori ageta means? My hint is that ageta's kanji is that. Ageta means on top. So is tori ageta one word or? Yes, it is a compound word adding toru to ageru. You might so have... next on top. That's a good guess. So toru uh, doesn't mean next. Toru means to take. Mm. And ageru can mean on top, but the kanji basically just means above. It's just a um, ageru. Ageru as a verb doesn't ever mean on top. You'd have to do ueni to mean on top. But ageru mm. means to, has lots of meanings, but in this context, the meaning is upward movement. Uh, so tori could take in an upward movement. So tori ageta means to lift up. You take upward, tori ageta. So Annie is like, oh, I want to read this book. And she picks it up. She tori ageta, she picks it up. Um, tori ageta no wa. It, so what is this no doing right here? What do you think it's doing? Tori ageta no. So it's referring to the book. Yes, perfect. I just want to check because this could, if this was like to, togi ageru no, in that case, the do might be just nounifying, for example. But mm -hmm. uh, this is the filler pronoun for hon because we know we're talking about a hon. So hon could easily fit right there. It could be ani ga tori ageta hon wa yoshi ni oshiru no e ga tsuiteru furui hon datta. Or maybe furui no datta. <laughs> but uh, this is the most natural way of saying it. Because in general, in Japanese, you want to drop subjects as much as possible. Okay. Um, so all together, can you tell me what this is? So ani picked up a book uh hyoshini and the cover oh, shiroi no eiga. there was an old painting or an old cover painting i guess mm -hmm. of what of a shiro castle yes so the thing so that's old specifically is the hon rather than the picture so it could be like so like the furui is telling us something is old is an old condition so you could know nothing about the culture and you wouldn't be able to know something's old or not, theoretically. Like, it's not out of style. It's just it's an old condition. So, for example, it could be chipped or something. It might have dog-eared pages. It doesn't look like a brand new book, is, is the point of the food. Mm. But the, the castle, it could be a brand new, brand new castle. I don't know. The, 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 so... Just, just making sure of that. Um, oh, do you know what happens if you have te form and then a verb right afterwards? Like, aruite hanashiteru or unzariste ita. What is going on here? 
a form plus random verb. Ah, Aruite Hanashite. So, like, I want to that verb. It's not a wanting. So, it's not that. We have Aruite. What does Aruite mean? Aruku. Too many words that sound familiar to me. Mm. Uh, so, aruku is related to hashiru, if you know that word, but it's slower. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, yeah. so we have walking and we have hanasu. What does that mean? Uh, to let go or to speak, one of the two. That is a, yes, you're right. Uh, hanasu, if it had this kanji, could mean to let go, but this one right here is to speak. You can tell because there's a there's the speaking kanji in it right over there. Oh, the little kuchis, lots of kuchis in it. Uh, so we have walking and talking. What does Hannes? What happens when this is in te form? We have walking. We have talking. So uh, happening at the same time. Yes, that is what it means. So te four means these two things are happening at the exact same time. So this is different than, for example, um, over here we have tori agita, uh, just as we have two verbs, but this is actually a compound word. So this is a single action being described by two verbs rather than two separate actions that happen to be occurring at the same time. Uh, uh, for example, uh, Oh, so I want to explain what a relative clause was. You you know what this is. You've seen it many times. Uh, I just have the vocab word now. So when you have a word, for example, otoko no ko, what does that mean? Otoko no ko, a kid or a yeah. male kid. So we have a boy, a, boy. a male child. Uh, you, you have a verb behind it in short form. This is telling us this is describing that item. That is called a relative clause uh, because this right here can be a full sentence. It's a clause. So ikinokota means to be left alive. Uh, so the boy who lived, the Japanese translation is ikinokota otokonoko. Uh, you've seen this many times. Uh, this is just a refresher that yes, the verb behind is describing this noun. Mm. Uh, oh, so the reason why I, I want to tell you this is that inside of relative clauses, gaz can turn into nos. For example, from our past sentence, we have to mirito, hotondo no hon ni chiyori ga asan dearu. How do you think I would say the page with a bookmark stuck in it? So, with in English is our um, relative clause um marker we have a special word that we put in front of our relative clauses in order to tell us we're doing a relative clause japanese we move things around so how do you think you would do this uh page in japanese is page page the page with a bookmark stuck in it mm -hmm. how would you say stuck uh so that, that was me uh, translating hasande, which means to be in between. It just, that's mm. not how we would say it in English. Hasande aru. Hasande. So the page with a bookmark in it. So page wa, I guess is how you could start it. Page wa. Mm -mm. Bookmark was shiori. So, page wa shiori wa. Oh, not shiori wa, shiori ga. Hasande aru? Question mark. So, you're on the right track, but what's confusing you is that you didn't fully understand what a relative clause was. So I'm going to go back over here with the boy who lived. So relative clause is a phrase that is describing something. So for example, if I so the boy who lived, who 
is the special word in English that um, marks this as a relative clause in English, the boy who lived. Lived, in English, so we have who and then lived, the boy who lived. This is the order it is in English. In Japanese, <coughs> what we do is that we take the verb and we put it in front of the noun and we make sure it's in short form. For example, lived, uh, as in you're the only one left alive, is ikinokoru, ikinokoru or iki no, no, no kota, if you wanted it in past tense. Iki no koru and iki no kota are both in short form. So if you wrote um, iki, no ko, iki no koru, otoko no ko, otoko no ko, this would mean the boy who lives and always survives as the last one. But same as in English, how it's in past tense, it's also in past tense in Japanese. We're referencing how he survived that one thing when he was a baby. Uh, so where does the verb go when we're doing a relative clause? In front? Yeah. Yes, that's a man. So now we're here, the page with a bookmark stuck in it. So with is our relative clause marker. It doesn't have any meaning in Japanese. They do it now. So page is our noun. And the bookmark in it is the clause. So let's try it again. So, Shiori ga hasande. Sante. Page wa. No, not page, just page. I'll just write aru for you. Page. Aru, page. Hai. Ah, I'll like that. So, this page right here was telling you something very interesting. Let me just do the page. And that's when you're doing a relative clause, ga turns into no. So, this is almost 100% correct. So, let's try it one more time from the top. How would we say this? I was waiting for some reason. Ah. Oh. Uh, Transform. So, Shiori no Hasan de Aru Peji. Perfect. Boom, you did it. Nice. So, yeah, this is very important in Japanese because compared to English, Japanese uses a lot of relative clauses to um, describe things. Uh, it's, it's very common. Um, okay. So, Let's read our first sentence, which is over here. Katakana. Ah, no. Ah, Pennsylvania, Shio no Gai Gai to Boots. Does this look like a small two or a big two? A small two. Mm, so, Gai do. Gai do. Book. Yeah, book. as in a whole. Mm. So, what is so a in... Pennsylvania to no guide the book? What is that? Uh, in the state of Pennsylvania, uh, guide the book is a book of Pennsylvania. Yeah, exactly. Then we have mo atta. What does that mean? Mo atta. Again? Well, no, not again, but mo atta. The, it means um, it also existed. So not only did we find a book with a castle in it, there's also a book here that had to do with that. That was a guidebook. Mm -hmm. so now we get to go see um, the new uh, grammar. Let's read it. Uh, Jack, wa, sore o, o san de, um, de ni to de, shiori no hachima matte iru. So, chi o chi? Ah, hasama, hasama te iru, page o, akete mi, akete mi tai, or not tai, but just that. 
Uh, what does Tani Totte mean? Totte Age. So, turning pages. That is an interesting guess. So, what does he have to do before he can turn pages of a book? He has to. How do you say that? Can I just turn it with his hands? <laughs> he has to be able to touch, touch. it. Touch. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, tote means to take, and teni tote means to take into your hand. So, Jack wasn't touching a book earlier, but now, sore o teni tote. So, he takes that into his hand. Um, then, we do have something that's similar to what you're thinking about. He's going the akete. What does akete mean, do you think? From aku. Ooh, sounds familiar. Aku. Uh, it's the opposite of tojiru. Tojiru. Mm -hmm. Lots of people might say doa. Oh. Tojiru. And doa. Oh. Akeru. What could it possibly mean? Akete. Akete. To open? Yes. So he opens up a what? A page. Mm, you can't really open up a page, but you're right, it is O there. So this is kind of <coughs> um to open up to in this case, O is kind of being used to mean um, to if you were translating it. But he's opening up the, yeah, we could, we, we'll, we'll do the guidebook. Uh, so, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, which page is he opening up to? He is opening up the Hasamate. Mm -hmm. So, the page in between, or rather, the page next to the bookmark, yes. which is between the pages. Exactly. Perfect. Nice. Um, and then this is what Jack says out loud. Here. Sukotsuge. Kerike. 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 What do you think the first word is then, if that's kerike? Kerike. Yep. Frog Creek no Matsi no Shashinda. What's a A photograph, like those yeah. old photo things. Eh, Frog Creek no Matsi no Shashinda. What does that mean? It is a picture about Frog Creek or the city or low town of Frog Creek. Exactly. Wow, it's a picture of our town of Frog Creek. Like, this like blew my mind when I read this. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen is that how the plot of Magic Circle works. Puzzle <laughs> things made a lot more sense to me. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, now we have this Kareed. Oh, oh wow. Kanji. Koen. Koen mo. はい。Hi. So Keski is a noun. What do you think Keski means? Keski. It's a new word for me. Mm, it is, it probably is. Keski, keski. That is the kanji for it. Uh, not that it helps a lot, but it means like the view. And it tends to be like a nice view, like, ooh, e keski. You wouldn't be like, ooh, look at this horrible view of mine. <laughs> not, not normally, anyway. So keski is telling us the view. So it's not like looking at something, but it's like a keski, like something you would take a shashin of is a keski. Mm. So, 
So the mieru keski, what does that mean? So you're viewing the uh, the site, I guess, or the place. That, that is a good guess. Um, so what's going on right here is this is another example of a relative clause that I was talking to you earlier that I never actually defined before for you. Um, so keski is being described with the kono tree house no mado kara mieru. So what does um, kono tree house no mado kara mean? Uh, mado kara. So the tr the house of not the house the what's it called window of the tree house. Yeah. So, so you're kind of looking at it. Then we have kara. What does kara mean? Not because it's the other Not, word. Yes. Um, oh. uh, to poke your head out. Yes. Or just to poke oh. out. <laughs> kara just means from. Mm. So <laughs> from, so it is the keski. Basically, it's the view you can see from the window of this tree house. Is what the shashin has. Noteru. Uh, in that context, what do you think noteru means? Noteru. To take? That's a good guess. So actually, toru is the same in Japanese as it is English. We use toru to uh, toru uh -huh. sound, take. But noteru actually means to be depicted, to, depicted in. So the on this picture he's looking at, there is a draw. It, there's a the thing that's depicted on it is the exact view. It's tokuri. Tokuri means the exact. It is the exact same view as what you can see from outside of the window of the treehouse. Um, what are some things you can see outside of the window of the treehouse? We can see a toshiokan, so mm -hmm. a library mo. Kako? Ah, Kako, the school. Mm -hmm. Cohen. Kanji. Cohen. Cohen. Uh, what was Cohen? Cohen. A lot of people like to go on. It is park. Oh, okay. It is park. You're at Cohen. Uh, it's made up of the kanji for public garden. Mm. Interestingly, um, Gakuen uh, is. School garden is what's made out of, but this kind of this actually is basically the same as gakko, but it means like a school that kind of has multiple schools under it. Like if you had a elementary school, middle school, high school, like assembly of schools, that would be a gakkuen rather than a gakko. But it's just interesting that we get garden added to it for some reason. Yeah. Hi. So I'm actually going to go back here and I'm going to make you reread this sentence because I felt like you struggled with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Time to reread this guy. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Pennsylvania show guide book moata. Jack wa sore o deni to te shiori no hasama. Pen page or Akitimita or Akitimita. So, what is Sore referring to? Sore. Jacqua, sorry, oh, sorry, would refer to the what's that called? Kaito, Kaido, yeah. hi, and he ten he told that. What does that mean? Ten he told so arms touch, oh, touch, mm -hmm. uh, specifically it means to take into your hand. Mm. So he takes into hand the guidebook. And what does he do to the guidebook? Akite. He touches it. <laughs> akite. That's not, akite doesn't mean touch. Um, hold you. Akite. 
開けて、It's to open.、はい、yeah. So he opens the book and what page does he open up to? He s h o u l d know Hasa or Hasa m a t e So the bookmark between the pages. Yeah, to the page that had the bookmark <laughs> in it. In it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So now I want you to reread this whole phrase. I skipped a, a sentence. This is our <laughs> new phrase. So, so kuri means it looks exactly like. So kuri. Exactly like. It's kind of funny. English doesn't have like a one word <laughs> has that meaning. Like, if you're like, oh, you look just like your children, you use so good. Like five words, yeah. Um, so, Toshiokun and Kako and Park、mm. uh, and the treehouse, no Madokara. So outside the window, Miru Keshiki. So the view, which was outside of the window,、mm-hmm. and all those things were there. So, Kori exactly Shashin no. So there was a picture exactly. Deiru. Not Deiru. What does not Deiru mean again?、Uh, d- Or just Deiru. Depicted. De- de- mm. de- So the picture depicted the view exactly,、uh, the view outside exactly of those、yes. four items. Yes. So、um, the view you can see from the window of this tree house was exactly the same as it is depicted on the, on the,、um, in, the, in the photograph. Is what it said. Nice. Hi. So here will be our last page of the day. Here's Annie talking. What does Annie say? Ah, soro, sore, sore, yori mo. Oni chan ga miltai no wa consagia, consagia, concha nai. Consagi nai. Uh, right over here, you, keep, you sometimes you'll add a random word here that's not in here. What does this say? Oh, this is mita. Yes, and then it became mitai, but not mitai. Mita. <laughs> yeah. Over here,、uh, I just put the word separating. Kochi janai. Kochi janai.、Mm. What does kochi mean? Kochi sounds familiar.、Mm. It's very similar to koko. Ah,、oh, this. It's like, こっちは It's like this kind of. Or、yeah. there, depending. It, it, it's very much,、um, it means like this direction. But in this case,、mm. it's the same thing. So,、uh, こっちじゃない So, こっち in this case is being this thing, just by context. Because it's, uh, みたいのは Uh, what does それより mean? それよりそ That and then that. Yes,、yeah, that is less than. <laughs> so basically,、uh, so it's kind of like a way of saying anyway again.、Oh. So that, in this case,、uh, whatever you're doing before is less than whatever I want you to look at right now. Whatever I'm talking about is more important. More important. <laughs> whatever you're doing a second ago, which、um, in this context would be the guidebook. So, rather than the guidebook, you should、uh, mitai this, this thingy that we don't, has not been defined yet.、Uh, what is oni chan ga mitai no wa? So, it's funny she's using mitai here because that's like bad Japanese. <laughs> oni chan ga mitai no wa.、Uh, I think it's because they're siblings, but that's okay.、Mm. 
It's like Big Brother. Don't you want to see? Mm. So, this, so this no right here is a special kind of no. What no is it, do you think? Oh, uh, it's the no for sentences. No? Oh, it's the no for the it's hon. It's actually hon. So, hon has been dropped out here. So, oni-chan ga mitai hon wa kochi janai, which is, oh, rather than that guidebook you're holding, the book you actually want to read, Big Brother, is this one. Mm -hmm. uh, and Annie, of course, knows her brother extremely well. Let's see what book she uh, Yubi Sass is. <laughs> uh, Annie ga kochi na, I think. Uh, actually, it's o, o ki. I think you mm -hmm. might have actually, I, I heard kochi. This is o ki. <laughs> o ki na hon o Yubi Sashite or Yubi Sashita. Kyoryu no Zukanda. Mm -hmm. mm. So Aniga, a big book or show. Yubi Sashte. What is a Yubi Sashte? Oh, the point. Yeah. So Ani mm. Yubi Sasu is at an Oki Hon. So a big book. She pointed at a really big book. Yes. And what kind of book did she point at? A kyoryu no zukan. So kyoryu was a dinosaur no yep. zukan. So a zukan is a kind of book. My hint is the word chizu. A map book. A... So, uh, so map that's made of the word of earth. And then, like, diagram is kind of what, like, Earth, picture of Earth, basically. So, Zukan, I'm just curious about the kanji is, complicated kanji, is a map of stuff. <laughs> and that's what it is. It, it, it's, it's a, um, it's like a picture book that has um, lots of pictures. So, because this is, like, the, sorry, I wanted to exit out. Do, do, do. Let's do a quick old Google so you can see a picture of a Kyoryu Zukan. Copy, copy, copy. Do these kind of books look familiar? <laughs> they they have all the little pictures of the different dinosaurs in it. So a Zukan is like like a dictionary kind of, I guess, that has lots of pictures in it for kids. That's just what a Zukan put anything in front of that with a zukan and you'll get like oh look at these little pictures in it so say cuts in zukan these are pictures about the daily life of people so we have our showering and eating food picture pictures basically here's the shigi no zukan so mysterious picture book like what's mysterious halloween the magic the snato so, no picture book. Thank you, Nozukan. Picture book about the weather. So yeah, it's a picture book that's like a dictionary. I don't know if we have a special word for that in English or not. Naze Nozukan. That like a Naze Naze. Why why? <laughs> so yeah, that is what a Zukan is. Nice. Um. So perfect. So that is where we'll be ending.